So I'm in fifth place because it looks like somebody got got stuck. I don't know. They got a little confused. But here we go. They teleported right in front of me. What? They literally teleported right to the finish line. <laughs> I mean, not that it matters. It was it was fifth place. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Two Can Plays Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. Oh, jeez. And I've got Monster Mutt Dalmatian, who is just getting wrecked right now. But I told one of my viewers, Chase, that I was going to play in the Highlands. He challenged me. He said, start off in the, the Highlands for the next few episodes. And I told him that I would. Wah! So I'll be back when I'm in the Highlands. I'm on my way to there right now, but holy mackerel, I'm getting wrecked. All right, I'm here in the Highlands, and I've got my messed up truck. Ooh. <laughs> Let's come down here to Quick Play and go to Free Ride and the World, and I'll do a quick little load, and I'm right here at the garage. And like I said, I am playing as a Monster Mud Dalmatian, I haven't really spent a whole lot of time playing as Dalmatian. I think I only have like one or two episodes. Let's get under this light over here so we can take a nice quick look at Dalmatian. Now, one of my new viewers, uh, Wenger Racer 2, he's been uh, spouting out the uh, the truth on uh, the monster truck. So maybe you can give us some more insight into a Monster Mutt Dalmatian. But I know, you know, Monster Mutt Dalmatian obviously is a spinoff of a regular monster mutt. The original variation was uh, two-dimensional, so like the teeth were kind of flat and the ears were not quite so floppy, I think, and the tail was a little bit different. But now the new variation is 3D with the 3D teeth and the smile and the grin and everything. And you got the tongue in the front. The older variation looked, if you're playing Steel Titans 2, it looked more like a uh, monster mutt junkyard dog. And of course, there are more variations of uh, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. There's the Fire and Ice, or rather the Ice version of Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And then there's the uh, the Gears and Galaxies that was uh, was a thing for a little while right before the pandemic, but didn't last too long. Uh, and then, of course, there's a lot of toy variations. You got the Earth and Surf and uh, a couple other, the Zombie, Zombie versus Hunter, Dalmatian. A lot of different cool variations. But hey, let's continue on with our Big Show Plus. All right, starting off in Anaheim 2 with a head to head against Soldier Fortune. And Winger Racer did let me know that Soldier Fortune is a Feld owned truck. And I did actually, I looked it up on Wikipedia. It is a Feld owned truck, so it's not an independent. He also mentioned that in uh, Steel Titans 1, there were no uh, independent trucks. Um, so it's only in Steel Titans 2 that they, they brought in like Ice Cream Man and a few others. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. Perfect start. And this one is that figure eight pattern. I remember oh, <laughs> I've been playing too much, uh, too much beam and G drive. I want to use different buttons to do rear steer. I want to use the beam and G drive controller configuration. <laughs> there we go. We're on track now. A little bit of drift action going on there. Nice, 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 nice. That is a pretty simple course. You do have to slow down a little bit coming into the, the turns. All right, Soldier Fortune is out of the way. Who do we got next? Ah, oh, Whiplash. We're going to be going against Whiplash. I haven't gone against Whiplash in a while. All right. Who do you think on the right side we're going to be going against in the finals? My vote is Avenger. That's who I think. <laughs> Maybe I'm just partial to Avenger. All right. There's Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Looks so nice. It is one of the coolest trucks out there. And there's Whiplash, or W, I guess they call it, because the W is on the side. Here we go, three, two, one, and let's go. Perfect start. If we can get a little bit of an angle there coming off the jump, we get a nice little head start. The, uh, the AI doesn't quite know how to navigate these turns very well. 
so I have a pretty good advantage in this uh, this particular head-to-head, -head, which is good because last episode we were in Detroit and that was horrible. <laughs> oh, what was that? At least they put me over the the jammer there. Uh, that's one thing I do like about um, Monster Shark Championship is they don't have that uh, map map reset if you're off track. You know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you very much. Whiplash is gone. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, zombie beat Avenger. We're going to be going against dragon. Oh, no. The dreaded dragon. I always lose against dragon. That's not good. <laughs> We're going to see what we can do. Hopefully we can do pretty good. Hey, do me a huge favor though. Before we square off against dragon, smash that like button. It really does help get these videos out to more people. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job and it lets me know that you want to see more Monster Jam Steel Titans 3. Huh? And there is Dragon. Dragon should be coming soon to BMNG. I can't wait for that. It looks awesome. Dragon and uh, Lucas Oil Stabilizer. Those are going to be awesome additions to BMNG. As soon as they come out, I will definitely do a video on them. I know another vi video, another viewer, Andrew Harris, he asks me almost every day, hey, when are you going to play the new BeamNG update? And I need to. The new BeamNG update added a couple of new trucks, including the uh, red uh, grave digger. And I, I need to do that. I think maybe this week I will do a video showcasing the new trucks. Oh, no. I'm talking too much. I'm not paying attention. That's okay. We've got a five second lead. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> But yeah, I'll do one this week. I'll do a video this week. Maybe I'll do it as a live stream. I think that's a good idea. Nice. We beat Dragon. See, I just needed to get Dragon out of my head and I was able to beat him. It's going to be me versus zombies in the final. Zombies? Me versus zombie in the finals. Nice. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, speaking of live streams, though, I did a live stream on Friday night and I played Monster Truck Championship. Check it out. I'm going to put the link to the to it in uh, not in the description, but up in the top right corner. It should be going up, popping up right now. It was a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun in these uh, live streams. Go. Here we go. Coming around the corner. I intend to do more live streams a couple times a week. I'm trying to find out what the best time to do the live streams are. I know summer is starting. My boys just got out for summer. Leave a comment. Let me know what time is the best time for you guys to catch a live stream. Do you like live streams? Do you want to watch more? Let me know in the comments. Tell me what trucks you want to see. What game you want to see featured. Whoa, here we go. Coming up over the finish line. Nice. We won that head to head here in Anaheim. I love it. Toucan plays is the champion for head to head. Nice. There's my little trophy. <laughs> All right. Let's check the standings real quick. We are first place for that event. First place overall. We have 299. They have 273 for second place in Avenger. And wow, we're way ahead of third place. I'm almost. Oh, gosh. What? 80 points ahead? Not quite of uh, uh 19 i'm 19 points ahead uh i'm sorry no, oh my gosh i can math i promise 79 points ahead of great clips mohawk warrior in third place so mohawk warrior i'm not i'm not in any kind of danger of falling below third but avenger could potentially catch up all right here we go getting ready for two wheel skills my smiling puppy dog at me <laughs> three two one go Let's see. Let's see if we can get a nice stoppy and we'll just slowly back it up over the jammer right there. Nice. Nice moonwalk. Oh, almost a bicycle there. We'll just kind of we'll rinse and repeat. Whoa, <laughs> not quite. Got a little bit of a slap wheelie there. Didn't count it, of course. No. Oh, man. OK, well, that was a good, good starting combo. 
Got a nice cyclone and a donut and a wheelie and a... I don't know what that was. <laughs> they called that a slap wheelie. We got plenty of two-wheel combos, though, or two-wheel skills in that combo. What? Why did they end it? They ended it so early. Oh, man. That's okay. We ended up pulling off first place anyway. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. There's some of these chicken boxes right up here. <laughs> Uh, chicken crates or just egg crates or whatever you want to call them and these fences over here are always kind of fun oh really they reset my combo I I could have swore I had that oh well oh no <laughs> all right that one was all me oh I missed all the blimps and I missed the box trucks I'm just gonna reset come on here we go nice there we go Ah. <laughs> Just do a backflip off the box trucks. That's, that's that's what I wanted. I didn't want to smash it in time destruction, of course. And get some cars, some more crates. We'll get some porta potties. And here's some more. Oh, I'm gonna do bad. I'm gonna do very very bad. Nice, come right up onto the pod, get some of those. Oh, 19 times combo. There we go. Now we get these fences and porta potties. We'll come back around the other direction. 25 times combo. I don't know. 29, 30. There we go. Oh, 32 times combo. Is that enough? Oh, that's enough to get me up to third. It's not terrible. Not terrible. It's better than what I was worried about. Look at that. Nice. I got every single blimp. Very cool. Oh, you know what? Let's back up. Uh, whoa, whoa. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Don't get too crazy on me here, Dalmatian. Uh, okay. Come around this way. Ooh. Got some fences. Now let's hit this. Jump. We'll get these blimps. Whoa. Too far. <laughs> Man, I'm getting stuck again. Oh, second place. I don't know. That might be where I'm stuck at. Yep, I'm stuck at second place. You know what? That's not bad, though. That's actually better than what I was worried I was going to end up at. All right, here we come into our final event, Anaheim 2 Freestyle. We can do this. We'll get a first place win in here. No problem. He looks kind of angry, doesn't he? Well, maybe not. Maybe it's just me. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Wow, I got a beacon. And oh, I got a stoppy, but I was a little cro crooked there. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, man. I'm a. Uh, you know, I got a little cocky. And every time I get a little cocky, something bad happens. I almost got a double backflip there. That was pretty good. Coming around this way. We got our two times combo so far. Let's see if we can keep it. No, <laughs> I did get a three times combo, but I was hoping to get the beacon. Do I need to go this way to get the beacon? Oh, I probably do. I need to go this way there. I got the beacon kind of sort of. Hey, there's a nice slap wheelie. Nice. OK, <laughs> coming around this way. Let's come back. Come back to the other side of the arena. I think there's more stuff to jump on over here. Yeah, here we go. Let's see if we can get a backflip. No, no, not going to happen. I did get a big air, though. Big air sky wheelie. Let's get a backflip off this backflip container. Nice. And I did get the beacon there. Nice little jump on the jammer. Whoa. And they're going to give me the power out after the fact, aren't they? Oh, no, they're not even giving me the power out. So rude. Oh, man. Why am I failing so hard today? Okay, come on. Let's come around this way. We'll hit this big jump right here. Nice big air sky wheelie into a, a butter smooth stoppy and we'll feather it back into a moonwalk yes up and over into another beacon hey come on i was still doing a moon, moonwalk there oh rude i didn't even place i didn't even place 
so rude. I think the judges were being extra harsh on me because I was so cocky before. <laughs> Sixth place. Oh, man. That's all right. Okay, moving on to the next area. Glendale 2, head to head. We can do this. Okay, Glendale 2, head to head. I don't really remember the head to head here in Glendale 2. Hopefully it's not too bad, but we are going to be going against Octonator. Wiggle the tires for good luck. That's why I didn't do good in that last freestyle. I didn't wiggle the tires for good luck. Doggone it. Octonator. Here we go. Oh, I do remember this race. Okay. This should be no problemo at all, actually. Although, although this, this is the kind of race that the AI excels at because they can draw those straight lines. Oh, but I think he messed up. Octonator tends to mess up a little bit. Here we go, coming around the corner. Nice jump. Smooth as butter. Round two, lap two. One more lap to go. Whoa, off track just a little bit and it didn't reset me. Thank goodness. Here we go, coming over the finish line. Nice. <laughs> hey, Octonator, you're a little late. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you very much. I am the best Monster Mutt Dalmatian driver there is. All right, so next we're going to be going against Sparkle Smash. What do you think? Zombie again for the finals? Let's find out. All right, here we go into round two. Monster Mutt versus Sparkle Smash. Which animal is the fiercest? I say Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Look at that horse. <laughs> There's nothing fierce about that thing. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, and let's go. Nice start so far. Nice and smooth over that jump. And nice and smooth over that jump. Coming around the corner. Oh, Sparkle Smash messed up. Something happened. Oh, boy. I love it when the computer gives me a, a little bit of a handicap. That's kind of nice. No, that was too wide of a turn. One more lap to go. Here we go. Oh, nice. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Round two is in the bag. <laughs> Sparkle Smash is out of here. And so is Zombie. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say Avenger now. But first, we have to defeat Pirate's Curse in the semifinals. Let's do it. The music for Monster Mutt Dalmatian reminds me of like Seinfeld or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not quite as fearsome as uh, Megalodon's. There's Pirate's Curse though, with the hook on one side, the dagger in his mouth, and the sword on the other side that you didn't get to see. Three, two, one, and go. A perfect start. Here we go around the corner. That was not a very good turn around the corner, but it does look like the AI flipped out again because I've got a good lead on him now. Two and a half second lead. Let's see if I can maintain that. Nice turn there. One more lap to go. Oh, no. No, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, here he comes. He's trying to beat me. He's trying to beat me, but I beat him. Oh, just, just barely by a split second. That one was so close. 
Nice. Okay, moving on. Yes, it's me versus Avenger. Ooh, boy, this is going to be a close one. Not a close one. This is going to be a, a good race, I think. Dalmatian versus Avenger. This could be a good race. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Perfect start. Nice jump. Let's see if we can get it over this one. Yes, yes, we can. Roundabout. Very good, very good. I'm really liking the the way that I'm driving so far. Drawing these perfect lines. Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, a little crooked there. That's okay, we got this. First place, baby. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, your Glendale 2 head to head champion, Toucan Plays. <laughs> Moving on to two wheel skills. There he is. Or she. I don't know. It's that, I think Dalmatian is usually driven by a girl, isn't it? All right. Big air into a nice stoppy. We'll get some crush cars because why not? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Give me some more crush cars. Let's see if we can get a nice backflip off that. Nice, we did. Not exactly two wheel skill worthy, but uh, it works. It works. Nice, nice stoppy. You know, they also count donuts as two wheel skills. And sometimes I like just doing some donuts and cyclones. You can get some good combos with uh, donuts and cyclones, man. How long can I go for? We'll go the other direction this time. <laughs> you know, we're already in first place. <laughs> I can do a lot of donuts here. I didn't realize I could do this many in a row. Oh, that might be the end. That might be the end. That's it. <laughs> that was still a lot of fun. Just to see how many donuts I could get. Yeah, after playing Monster Truck Championship, I realized just how much more I like the destruction in that game than in this game. The controls are definitely wonky in Monster Truck Destruction. Like, they, they could have done a little bit better with the controls. But some of the gameplay elements, like Destruction in, in particular, I think were done very well. Uh, I kind of like the head-to-head -head racing too, the drag racing a little bit more in uh, time in Monster Truck Championship too. But every time I start bagging on this game, something happens and it always, like the game hears me, the AI hears me and it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, well, we're gonna mess you up. <laughs> oh man, okay, I do remember Glendale too. This is a tough one. Like the time destruction on this one is, it's just, everything is so spread out and there's just not enough to smash. And I don't even know why they bother with these blimps. It's fun to hit the backflip. I mean, that was pretty cool right there, hitting all eight of those blimps on the backflip. But like, that's all you can do. You hit that and then your, your timer runs out by the time you get around to the next thing to smash. All right, I gotta stop banging on the game because like I said, the AI is gonna get mad at me and it's gonna, it's gonna really mess me over. It's coming, it's coming. Chocolate Drive knows it too. He calls it every time. <laughs> oh. uh, 
Uh, there's just a few more things to smash. I'm in fifth place. I might have to just take the L. Oh, there's a nice bus. I got some crates and a car. And that's it. <laughs> fifth place. Not the best run, but uh, I could have done worse, too. Moving on to freestyle. Nice. There's those BKT tires. Oh, I forgot to wiggle for good luck. Oh, no. Nice big air, though. Into my stoppy. And back up into my moonwalk. Up and over the jammer. Whoa. A little bit of an, an endo, reverse endo there. I love doing these stoppies. Whoa, nice. That was a front flip, a reverse flip, they call it. Okay, well, we'll call it a reverse flip. Why not? I don't get very many of those. Come on, let's try it again. Nope, not going to happen there. <laughs> How about on this one? No, no, I'm just going to I'm just going to do it. End over in somersault. Hey, we're already in first place. That's good. Let's go over here to the backflip container. And we'll get a backflip off of it. Woohoo! Whoa! We just kind of went way out of bounds. That's okay. Let's get a nice big air off this jammer. Nice big air sky wheelie backflip bicycle. Nice little combo there. Oh, come on, get up, get up, get up. There we go. Whoa. Just always bouncing around all over the place. Let's see if we can do a bicycle off of this. Oh, I was going a little too fast. I did get the bicycle. Let's see if we could go a little bit slower. Maybe, no, too slow, too slow. I really want to get this bicycle trick down. Oh, look at there. Uh, did it for a minute. <laughs> We're going to go into some bonus overtime here. We're going to get a slap wheelie. And another one. And another one. No, just kidding. That was a nice big air. And another another stoppy. Man, this, this round has been stoppy king. Stoppy central. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice moonwalk stoppy and <laughs> into a wheelie again. And that's going to do it. That's going to be the end. That was a great run. I'm really, I'm really happy with that. That was really good. Okay. We're in first place. Let's just check the standings real quick. Uh, so I am what? 31, nine, 39 points or 41. 41 points, 41 points. I can math. I promise I can math <laughs> 41 points ahead of Avenger. That's good. Not too bad. All right. But you guys know, I always like to end my episodes with an outdoor race just because they're fun. So since we're here in the Highlands, we're going to do a paranormal activity. This is the waypoint challenge map. Go. Now, whoa, I just got blasted. Now these waypoint maps, whoa. Now that is some big air. Ah, oh, come on, get up, back up. Let's come over here and let's get this boost. Hey, we're somehow in first place and we're gonna crash right into the rock because that boost is in a weird, awkward spot. That's okay. We're going to take the high road. It looks like a couple people went on the low road. And there is Pirate's Curse. I'm just going to draft on him a little bit into the wall. Wow. Well, and somebody just went zoom right behind me. Well, I guess that was a thing. <laughs> Obviously, I need a little bit of practice on this map. Now, Chocolate Drive is the man when it comes to um, 
shortcuts in these outdoor races here, these challenge maps. So Chocolate Drive, if you're watching this and you have got a tip or trick or shortcut for me, I am all for it. Looks like some people went up this way. This would be interesting. I didn't realize this was an option. We, I mean, I know this road. I just didn't realize this was an option to go as far as uh, heading back to the other waypoint. Um, apparently it's not a very good option. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. No. <laughs> Come on. I swear every turn I always start to drift upright and or my my two tires start to drift on me. I'm guessing this is the way that they went. Yeah, I think this is. Okay, again, I swear I have done this race. I just I haven't done it on hard. That's the only difference. Oh, see, I hit that boost and I shouldn't have because I needed to turn right here. So I'm in fifth place because it looks like somebody got got stuck. I don't know. They got a little confused. But here we go. They teleported right in front of me. What? They literally teleported right to the finish line. <laughs> I mean, not that it matters. It was it was fifth place. <laughs> okay, obviously I need some practice on that map. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of practice off camera for that challenge map because holy cow, I had no clue where I was going or what I was doing. I felt like a fool. Next episode, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna be better than ever. You'll see, you'll see. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to check out the video that you see on your screen right now. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side. Woohoo! Later!